To other stories now. After years of criticising the Howard government's Pacific solution for asylum seekers, Labor looks set to build an offshore processing centre in Papua New Guinea. The opposition calls it a huge backflip. But some former critics of offshore processing say Labor's plans may actually help stem the flow of boats. Chris Yulman reports. The flames at Sydney's Villawood Detention Centre in April were a sign of a border protection system in crisis. Has the government lost control of detention centres? No, we've had significant issues last night, of course, at Villawood. The violence came a month after similar riots on Christmas Island. You're in a circumstance at the moment where you have lost control of this for some uh, No, I don't think so, but it is a serious situation which is under management and is getting t intensive resources from me, my department and the Australian Federal Police. Signs the detention system was buckling under the weight of asylum seekers have been obvious for a year. In September, there were breakouts in Darwin. The demands for ever more beds saw detention centres spring up on Commonwealth land in the Adelaide Hills. When did this become a dictatorship? When? And north of Hobart. They burned the bloody place down. Another appeared on an Air Force base in far north Queensland and in Western Australia. The Curtin Detention Centre was reopened, then expanded. Now a desperate government appears to be seeking to revive a policy it once reviled. We have committed to ending the so-called Pacific Solution. Uh, we would not have offshore processing uh, in Manus Island and Nauru. Papua New Guinea is considering a request to open a regional processing centre. Liz, is there going to be a deal? Are we going to reopen Manus? <laughs> no, I'm just off here. Yeah. Talk to us later. Australian government officials have visited the remote Manus Island, about a thousand kilometres north of Port Moresby in the Bismarck Sea. It was once an Australian Navy base. Is Your Manus home? Island a live option for that uh, regional solution? Well, let me just say, we uh, pursue discussions across the region. We've been doing that very patiently and methodically. And when I have something to announce arising from those discussions, then I'll announce it. The Pacific Solution was the name given to the Howard government's offshore detention policy. It began in 2001 when Australia's islands were excised from the migration zone and asylum seekers found in those waters were shipped off to detention centres on Manus Island and Nauru. It's history that that brought Australia into international condemnation, uh, but now we've got the Gillard government taking uh, the western half of that solution by looking at uh, re-establishing that effective prison for asylum seekers on Manus Island. The Prime Minister said only a year ago, less than a year ago, that she thought putting asylum seekers on Pacific Islands was costly, unsustainable and wrong as a matter of policy. Uh, now, clearly she's had a humiliating back down. The critics of the policy point out that most of those sent into exile eventually made their way to Australia. Free, free the refugees! But supporters of the Pacific Solution say it effectively shut down the people smuggling trade by destroying the product. In 2001, 5,500 asylum seekers arrived by boat. In 2002, that number dropped to one. Over the next five years, there were 288 arrivals. Since Labor scrapped the policy in 2008, 10,618 asylum seekers have arrived by boat, including the 63 found north of Broome yesterday afternoon. Those numbers have won at least one high-profile convert. I didn't change my mind on the, the morality of the question. I changed my mind because I thought the friends of the asylum seekers or 